Hello everyone and welcome to my tutorial. Today I will show you how to model an aerodynamic blade like this using surfaces among other features. Now first start a new point, part, click OK. Open a sketch on the front plane, like so. Sketch a center line, start an origin and sketch a horizontal center line like so. Give it a dimension of 30 meters, type 30M, press enter, like so. Go to tools, go to sketch tools, go to sketch picture. Now browse to the picture that you downloaded from the link and click OK. Now up in here in origin x position, type minus 962, press enter. And in x width, type 31950, press enter once. Choose full image, type 0 0.45, like so, and click OK. Exit the sketch, like so. Choose sketch, and choose the front plane, like so. Choose the spline. Now sketch in about the middle of the red dots. Start here, and sketch a point here, and a point here. And a point here and double click here like so zoom into here sketch a point in the green dot like so and here and here and here and here and here and double click here press escape now control click this point and control click this point. Choose make vertical. Control click this point and choose make vertical like so. Control click this point, this point and the origin and click make vertical like so. Click on this point, click on the arrow, choose horizontal, click on this point, click on the arrow, choose horizontal like so. Click on this point, click on the arrow, click horizontal, click on this arrow, click horizontal, like so, click on this point, click on this arrow, whoops, click on this arrow and click horizontal, like so. Move this point to the middle right here if you don't have it already. So now exit the sketch. Now you should press the right plane like so, go to insert, go to reference geometry, choose plane. Now in distance type 30m for 30 meters, press OK. Rotate a little, click on this plane, go to insert, choose plane. Type 5500 and choose flip like so. Click on plane 1 again, go to reference geometry and choose plane. And choose 27500 for this one and check flip, like so. Right click the right plane and choose show. So now we're ready to model some more. Click on plane 1 and click sketch. Click control 4, like so. Sketch a circle about here, like so. Sketch a point here and a point snap to here. Rotate it a little. Control click this point and control click the end point of this line and choose make coincident. Click on this point and control click this point and choose make coincident, like so. Go to tools, sketch tools split entities, snap to this point and click once, and snap to this point and click once, so now it's split in two, click escape, click exit sketch, now click on plane two, and click sketch, click control four, like so, sketch a circle, so 
somewhere out here. Just get your point, snap to here, rotate it a little, control click the spline and this point, and choose make pierce, like so. Give the circle a dimension of 1700, like so. Now choose center line, snap to the middle of this one and sketch a horizontal center line like so. Double click, snap to this point and sketch a center line down here. Whoops, like so. Choose smart dimension and give this one an angle of 5 degrees, like so. Choose trim entities, trim this lower part away. Choose spline, snap to this point, double click here, press escape, click the end point and control click this spline and choose make pierce like so. Click on this one and control click this one and select tangent like so. Click on this point, click on this arrow and click vertical like so. Now choose my dimension, give this handle a dimension of 986 and press enter, like so. Choose the spline again, snap to this point, sketch a point here and snap down to this point, double click, click on the spline, move this handle a little out and click horizontal, like so. Click on the spline, take this handle, move it a little down. Click on this spline and control click this circle and choose make tangent, like so. Give this handle a dimension of 1556, like so. And give this handle a dimension of 277, like so. Press escape, click on this point. Now you can move this handle like so, so it have an aerodynamic shape. Choose smart dimension, make a horizontal dimension here of 186.7, like so, and give it a horizontal dimension of 157.4, like so. Now move this handle a little up, like so. So we will have a nice aerodynamic shape like this, looks good to me. Press escape, like so, rotate the part a little, click on plane 3 and click sketch. Now sketch a circle out here like so, make a point right here, click on this point and control click the upper spline and choose make pierce. Now move the circle a little down like so. Press control 4. Give the circle a dimension of 350. Like so. Choose center line. Sketch a center line like I'm doing right now. I trim away this lower thing. Choose spline. And sketch a spline and double click here, rotate the part a little. Click on this point and control click the lower spline and choose make pierce, like so. Click this spline and control click the circle and choose make tangent, like so. Click on this point and move this arrow a little out and choose horizontal. Give this handle a dimension of 245, like so. Press escape, choose center line. Sketch a center line between this point and this point. Choose mirror entities. Click this one and click here and click this center line to mirror the entity. Press escape, like so. Click on the right plane and click sketch. Choose a circle. Sketch a circle like so. Sketch a point here, click on this point and click on the upper spline and choose make pierce, like so, it gets very little, move it a little 
down like so and give it a dimension of 340 like so press control 4 sketch a center line in the middle here also like so make sure it's horizontal trim away the lower part of it click ok choose spline snap to this point and double click about here rotate the part click on the point here and control click the lower spline and choose make pierce click on the spline and control click the circle and choose make tangent click on the spline move this arrow a little out and choose horizontal relation for this one now give this handle a dimension of 154.3 like so and give this handle a dimension of 338 like so choose a center line sketch a center line between this point and this point press escape choose mirror entities choose this line and choose mirror about this circle like so go to tools go to sketch tools split entities click here whoops let's press control c do it again rotate the part like so press escape now click on this one click edit sketch go to tools sketch tools split entities click on this point click yes click escape click exit sketch click edit sketch now split the entities in the top of the circle here also on this point like so now I will do more in part 2 of this tutorial, you will find it next to this one.